De groeiende populariteit zorgt ook voor toenemende kritiek. Voormalig CBS-directeur Grant Tinker veegde de vloer aan met de show. Grant Tinker kwam aan en zei dat we de standaard van of televisie hebben. After that, Roseanne came on and she said, I think Jerry Springer could do a good show. I think it's a great show. And I'd like to thank Jerry Springer. <clears throat> I just love the Jerry Springer show. <clears throat> I really like that guy. He's so cool. Maar de kritiek verstomt niet. Mark Schwed van TV Guide vindt dat Jerry Springer een verkeerd beeld van de maatschappij schetst. It misrepresents us. Because we're not, that is not who we are. That is not who human beings are. Um, it, it's not us. If it is us, we're finished. We're done. <laughs> you know, let the asteroids strike the Earth. They're just people, most of whom have never been on television before. Hey, Jerry. Uh, hey, how you doing? Good. <laughs> and here's their 15 minutes, and they're angry or happy or whatever, and they react. This is how people react. And I think that's the attraction of the show. Jerry Springer says uh, he shows what America wants to see. Mm. America wants crack. America wants a lot of things that aren't necessarily good for them. If he believes that uh, watching a television show is the same thing as being addicted to drugs, he's obviously never been addicted. But I'm sure he's a nice guy anyway. <laughs> Schwed vindt Jerry's minachting voor zijn gasten moeilijk te pruimen. What person would go on national television and talk about, you know, the, the incredibly personal things that they talk about? What's going on here? No, you're crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy and then we go home and have sex for 12 hours. All right. You know, this is not what a psychotherapist would recommend for, you know, for marriage counseling to go on national TV and talk about all your woes. You wouldn't even pay for my abortion. They're idiots, and they should all be shot. A lot of the criticism of the talk shows, such as ours, is because deep down we're not too crazy about, quote, kind of people that are on these shows. And that's pretty elitist. If I got 10 million people a day watching a show, and I have some guy sitting in an ivory tower looking down at our guest and, say, and saying, those people are trash, then there's something wrong with that man who's sitting in the ivory tower looking down and criticizing somebody else's lifestyle. I am a transsexual dominatrix. <laughs> Fight me. Um, oh, please. Grow so you're up. really, you're, you're, you're still a man? I mean, uh, I guess anatomy-wise, yeah. I can't conceive that I would call the talk show and say, please put me on. But that's me. And it doesn't make me better than the people that are on the show. You know, if someone feels like they want to get, maybe someone comes on because they just enjoy it. Maybe they want to get something off their chest. Maybe they're a bunch of fraternity kids and, hey, it's a hoot, we're going to be on national television, it'll be fun. Hey, you will going see us. You know, who knows? I've been sitting here for two months waiting for this one to acknowledge he even has a child. And this yeah. one's waiting for <laughs> You have to really wonder how much of this is put on, um, how much of it is made up completely, and I guarantee you, some of it is completely made up. Zijn de gasten echt? De vrouw links moet haar vriendin iets opbiechten. Yeah. Once in a while, you, you take a big risk, I think, when you do when you deal with uh, secret shows, and and that particular segment was a secret. Where the uh, where the uh, lesbian couple, the one the one girl was confessing to her girlfriend. Six weeks ago, I did four adult movies, pornos, and uh, when I leave the show, I'm going to do another one. Kijk goed hoe de vrouw rechts reageert. Is ze echt verrast, of doet ze alleen maar zo? Movies. With what? Men and women. I didn't know if it, um, if they were telling the truth. I didn't think it belonged on the show, and, and my bosses agreed and. And so we took it off. The reaction of the guest was so blatantly false that we knew something was wrong. It's so obvious it's acting. So, I mean, there's, you, you, like I said, you just can't fake this stuff. Ook al is het echt, de critici laten zich niet tot andere gedachten verleiden. Maar ja, Jerry neemt ze toch niet serieus. Any criticism people level at the show, fine, they're right, you know. Why do they think I'm going to say, no, this is just... 
It's a serious show everyone should watch and it'll make their life better. It won't. It's entertaining. I was talking to the son of a parent the other day who watches Jerry Springer, and he said, Mom, I watched Jerry Springer, and nobody got into a fight. And he was really upset. So, you know, now we've come to expect a fight, actually a fight per break. So we need, we need at least three or four fights per, per hour on Jerry Springer. So what's he going to do to top himself? You know, I don't know. The critics don't like the Jerry Springer show, I don't watch it. Het Springer succes kent geen grenzen. Vorig jaar zijn de kijkcijfers met 183% gestegen. In alle opzichten is hij Oprah voorbij gestreefd. Waarom schept Jerry dan niet op? You know, I can't be compared to her. She's, she's the best, period. I mean, she's a, a giant in the industry. And 50 years from now, we're going to be remembering Oprah. And I will have been a blip on the screen. So, you know, I have a crazy, silly show. She's a real talent. Hij blijft bescheiden. Ondanks alle foto's en artikelen in tijdschriften, blijft hij heel rustig onder het succes. Be honest, no one's watching the show because of me. Um, you know, they're watching it because it's a funny show. Anybody can do what I do, and that's the truth. There is no particular talent involved in hosting a talk show. I think it's a combination of everything, including watching for Jerry. I think Jerry adds a lot of humor to the show. I don't think you can do the same show and get the same results with another host. Springer is geïmiteerd in comedies en geparodieerd in The X-Files. Deze imitaties tonen volgens Dominic aan dat Jerry een icoon van de jaren negentig is. It helps the show. It helps, it helps Jerry Springer become an adjective almost. I mean, he's now he's a reference, and it's in newspaper columns all over. Not criticizing the show, but using him as a point of reference. And I think that's that all comes from the, the popularity of the show. Him being on X Files, he is a a major figure in the United States right now. I read the reports, I read the, the, the computer printouts of all the newspaper articles, and they talk about bars having a Jerry Springer happy hour, and every time the fight breaks out, the bar buys a round of drinks and stuff like that. Jerry is a deel van de Amerikaanse cultuur. De toekomst van de show ziet er zonnig uit. Maar het is de vraag hoe lang het publiek nog familievetes en echtelijke ruzies wil zien. The only thing that's permanent on our show are the chairs. So tomorrow, if all of a sudden America stood up and said, let's have shows about Bosnia, we'll do shows about Bosnia. I mean, it's pure democracy. People call up and, you know, we do what, what people want to do. I mean, I think people are tuning into the show now because they enjoy it, because it's outrageous, because because they understand what it is. We've been on for seven years, and it's obviously we've had a great run, and I've been signed for five more, so yeah, it'll go on for another five years, then I'll, I may do something else. It would be a very interesting thing to see what people's reactions would be to, the, to a show like this 50 years from now. It could be like Leave it to Beaver compared to what they're showing on the air 50 years from now. Who knows? Ondanks de onmiskenbare populariteit gelooft Jerry geen seconde dat zijn show een plek in de geschiedenis zal verwerven. Maar hij doet wel zijn best om van Amerika een beter, veiliger en sterker land te maken. The show will never be put in the time capsule. I, I always think that our show saves the taxpayers money. Because we're in 50 countries. And when other countries see our show, all of a sudden they lose interest in taking us over. So we save on the defense budget. We don't have to have missiles, you know. So, so I think our show does a lot of good.
show van Jerry Springer. Zijn film Ringmaster draait momenteel in de bioscopen. En sinds kort is de tweede video Too Hot for Television in de winkels te verkrijgen. Op termijn zullen er ook andere Springer-video's verschijnen.